Of all queer fish, perhaps the queerest is the macropod, or paradise fish. The male is a perfectly gorgeous beast, with a tail fin like a peacock's feather. The female lays her eggs in an air bubble. An Indian relation of the Wells fish has a head like a walrus, complete with whiskers, both jaws armed with closely set teeth, and a body like nothing on earth. It's transparent, and anglers never tell their friends a tall story about this fish, because they can easily see through it. A native of China, and a rather distant member of the goldfish family, is the telescope fish. It has a very short snout, eyes that stand right out of their sockets, no dorsal fin, and a tail like a watsit. Otherwise, it's quite normal. The telescope fish is an example of freak breeding, and in natural surroundings, it would soon become extinct. The moonfish is the zebra of the seas, or rather of the Amazon in which he lives. The fashionable stripes on his torso are very similar to the shadows cast by the reeds near his home, and they serve to protect him from his enemies. But perhaps the most forbidding of these underwater creatures is the sea anemone, or flower animal. Its base is usually fixed to a rock, and at the other extremity is a crown of tentacles. In the middle is the mouth opening, ready to receive the poor fish that ignores the gypsy's warnings. 